Hey friends, I want you to join me today for a front porch complete makeover. I'm going to be transforming my front porch area and making it look more inviting for the summertime. So join me for some deep cleaning, a lot of decorating, and watch me transform our porch for the summer season. And give me a thumbs up if you are ready for summer. So you are looking at my to-do list for the day. You know I'm a list maker and I had a lot I wanted to accomplish. Our front porch has been looking a little rough after the harsh northern Ohio winters and I wanted to make it look nicer and brighter and more inviting for anyone who comes to visit our home. The front porch is the place that people see when they first come over. So I was ready and to transform this area. I was also going to deep clean it and make sure the entire porch was really clean along with the furniture was clean before I started decorating. So join me for a day full of cleaning, decorating and transforming. And before I got started, I wanted to make my bed and get some laundry started. It kind of helped clears my mind and makes me ready to tackle the day when my bed is made and I have some laundry going. sitting out here on my front porch and it needs a little bit of extra care so today I'm going to be tackling this front porch I slaying the day I'm gonna be deep cleaning it and then completely making it over so it's an area that we can sit out we like to sit out here in the summer as well as our back patio which I did a video on that a couple weeks ago I'll have it linked here as well um, linked down in the description but our front porch we live on a cul-de-sac so it's just nice to sit out here switch it up in the summer and just kind of look at our neighborhood and it's just a peaceful time that I can come out in the morning and drink my coffee or just spend time at night so we want to make this over make it look a lot nicer clean it up so that's what I'm gonna be doing today stick around a lot of good stuff a lot of motivation we're gonna get this done and we're gonna transform this front porch I can't wait to show you guys the end result The twins were napping and it was a morning where Avery was playing outside so it was the perfect time to get started and get things done. If you guys have never been to my channel, you've never been to Jamie's Journey, thank you for stopping by. Every single week I'm going to be bringing you motivating content here on this channel. A lot of cleaning and organization, mom life, and lately I've been doing a lot of decorating. 
kind of on a decorating kick. So if you like seeing these type of videos, if you like seeing some decorating videos, make sure you're subscribed and that you have the notifications turned on because I have a lot of fun, exciting content coming this way here in the summer on my channel. And I would love, love, love to have you join my journey. So make sure you say hi if you are new. Say hi in the comment section. Okay, I have everything here posed down and now I'm gonna go in the back and scrub the chairs and the cushions so those can dry while I come back and scrub some of the areas on the house. We've had these porch chairs for a while and I've never cleaned them at all. So I wanted to go in and give them a good scrubbing and I just used some water and Dawn dish soap with a really good scrub brush that I got from Walmart. Also, I'll admit, I have never washed these outdoor cushions for the chairs, just like I had never washed the actual chairs either. We've had these, like I said, for a couple of years, and I believe I got them at Lowe's, and I really wanted to go in and give them a good cleaning, and I was just using a cup of borax with some water and then some Dawn dish soap. And then I use that same scrub brush that I used to clean the chairs and I just scrubbed them really good. And then I was going to let them sit for about five to 10 minutes outside. And then I was going to hose them down to let them dry. Okay, so I'm gonna let these sit out for about five to 10 minutes and then I'll go through and hose them down and then let them dry in the sun.
Okay, so I have everything drying in the backyard. I have the chairs and the cushions and everything is kind of dried up here. So now I'm going to clean and scrub the windows. I have this handy tool that I love. I bought it like not too long ago and I used it to clean my windows and I'm in love with it. It makes cleaning your windows so much fun and I don't even know if that's a thing, but I think it's fun. Hi, Avery. And do some more deep cleaning before we decorate. So this is my handy little washing tool. So it's nice because it has where you can wash your windows. And then on the other side, it has a little squeegee and it makes it easy to get up high because I'm short. So it makes cleaning windows a lot easier. little scrub brush and I was trying to get all of like every little tiny thing or mess that's on the siding and I was just like scrubbing 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 and it wasn't all coming off with my solution Mike and I have been talking about getting a power washer for quite some time and instead of going through and just scrubbing every single thing that's on the siding I'm just like let's just get the power scrubber we could use it for so many things so 
stay tuned get one we'll try it out and then i can really really deep clean but i think for what i've done right now is pretty good So I've ordered a few other pieces um, that are still not here for the porch. So I think I'm gonna have to take a break for today, at least on the front porch project. And then we'll pick it up in a few days. I ordered some things from Amazon and Target that should be here in a couple days. I'll pick up, finish all of this, and then I can show you the completed project. I'll show you all the decorations and our new front porch that's nice and deep cleaned and all decorated and ready for some nice summer mornings and summer nights that we can just sit out here and enjoy ourselves as a family. But while we're filming today, um, I figured I'd show you kind of my nighttime cleaning routine, my nighttime cleanup, what I've been doing every single night. So stay tuned for some more cleaning motivation before we finish up the front porch in a couple of days. When you Mike was getting the girls a bath and getting them ready for bed. So I was cleaning up the downstairs and the kitchen and kind of doing my nightly cleaning routine. And I know you guys can't really tell, but I was doing some serious speed cleaning. Um, I mean, normally I, I'm not slow when I clean, but tonight I was cleaning as fast as I could because I had a spray tan appointment. So typically I like to self tan at home. I use the loving tan, which I, I really, really like that. But a local spray tanning salon in my town was running a special on spray tan. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to do it. That's my, my self care. I, I don't have the time to lay out and get a tan these days. So it's nice when I can look tan and I don't have to you know feel like I need to be outside constantly so um, they were running the special and I jumped all over that and I had about about 35 minutes to get this all done so I was trying to move as quickly as I could I was just busting my butt to get it all done and I was able to get it almost all done except for laundry which you'll see me come back and Mike and I teamed up and we ended up folding the laundry when I got back
To wipe down my stainless steel appliances, I am using e-cloths. And if you're not familiar with them, they are a special cloth that allow you to really and truly clean with just water. They have tiny fibers that attract bacteria and it's proven to remove 99% of bacteria, including E. coli and Listeria from hard surfaces, which I know sounds crazy and like I'm making it up, but this is a cleaning product I truly stand behind. They have one, well, they have so many products, but I use my, probably my favorite would be the one to clean the mirrors and glass. It's just amazing how you can get a streak free shine on your glass and mirrors with a rag and water it's amazing and then i love the stainless steel one i mean i love the one for the stove i just love so many of them but the one for the stainless steel by far the best stainless steel cleaning product i've ever used so i love these if you guys want to check them out i do have a code where you can get 10 percent off it's linked down below but i promise you if you try these out you will love them Stay tuned for day two of my front porch makeover for some decorating. After I got my spray tan, Mike and I decided to fold the laundry so we could be done for the night. And that's why you see me sitting on an old brown sheet so my spray tan doesn't come off on my bed. Yeah. 
could make it out We got nothing else to prove No looking back So it was a few days later and we were finishing up the front porch and Mike and I have been talking for a while about getting a storm door for our front porch. We just thought it would be the perfect time since we were kind of making over our front porch area. In our old house, we had one just like this and we loved it. We loved opening the door, letting some sunlight in. It just, you know, improves everyone's mood. And we've been wanting one for a while and we've just had been putting it off and we thought this is the time to do it. So Mike installed that earlier this morning and although I'm sure it's going to be beautiful to look at from the inside and the outside, I'm sure with the twins and Avery keeping all of the fingerprints off of this door will drive me crazy, but that's okay. It's all worth it. Um, in our old house when we had it, we did not have kids, so I didn't have to worry about fingerprints all of the time, but it'll be nice. I know it will. Again, I'll have everything that I can link below in the description. So if you want to check them out and we got these tall planner boxes from Target this year. And then this little one with the stand was from Walmart and it's the Better Homes and Gardens brand. Stay tuned because I'm going to give you a tour of the front porch and let you know where I got everything here when I'm finished. you 
notice me Let me be real here When I see you my heart starts racing But I don't know if I like this chasing And playing and waiting around It's a shame that my hands start shaking If you guys are interested in seeing how we did our back patio makeover and deep clean, I will have it linked right here as well as down below so you can check it out if you want to see us make over this entire backyard space. Okay, so after days of working out here, our, our front porch is finally finished and I will give you guys the tour. So obviously we added um, the rugs right here. This one I got from Target and I'll have everything linked below. And the bottom one, um, it's navy blue checkered. Um, that is from Amazon. We got these planners from Target um, and then just some flowers from a local nursery. And we added this door from Home Depot. And I got this from an Etsy store online which I'll have linked below. And then over here, so the seating we've had from Lowe's and the um, pillow and the pad, it, those are both from Lowe's. We've had those, I think, for the past two years. Um, and then this planner I got from Walmart just a couple days ago. It's Better Homes and Garden. And then this candle I got from Lowe's. I actually saw one at Walmart that was just like this one, but they were all sold out. So when I was shopping at Lowe's um, for other things, I saw that and I thought it would be a great addition to the front porch. It's just so peaceful. This is one of our favorite places to sit. Um, we obviously love sitting out on our back patio, but I feel like it's a different vibe. Um, and sometimes we just like going or coming out here on the front porch and sitting whether it's early in the morning as the sun is rising or when the sun's going down and it's just quiet and kind of nice to relax and not feel stimulated, you know, by our kids or TV or anything else. Sit out here. Finally got some of the front patio stuff done, so uh, job well done, and now we can relax for a little bit. Definitely. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was fun for me. Um, it's always fun for me to share parts of my life and things that we're working on or doing here in our home, but it's also nice to feel accomplished and that I was able to get something done that's been on our to-do list for pretty much since we've moved in. So it feels really good to have this space done and how we like it, and now we can just enjoy it the whole summer. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to come and follow me over on Instagram. It's linked down below, but I will see you guys next time. Bye.